A letter to a killer. Now this comes, it comes from the family of Elizabeth Salgado. She disappeared five years ago. Her remains found in Utah County in 2018. To date, no one has been arrested for her murder. For every crime, there's a story in The Truth Matters. Here's ABC 4's Marcos Ortiz with tonight's Justice Files. Authorities in Utah County called their murder investigation of Elizabeth Salgado very active and are awaiting test results of DNA found at her burial site. Meanwhile, the family is privately investigating the murder as well and has this message for the killer. We want the, the person who killed or the people that killed my niece Elizabeth to know that we're very active. And the family of Elizabeth Salgado, whose remains are found in a shallow grave in 2015, want the killer to give up. In a letter to the killer, the family's private investigator writes, if you have any remorse for Elizabeth's death, come forward now, turn yourself in. It could mean difference of a one to 15 year sentence or a 25 to life sentence. We just wanna make sure that we, um, we send a message to whoever is responsible for the death of my niece, Elizabeth Elena Laguna Salgado, that, um, it, to come forward. So and perhaps save their own life and bring justice to the Salgado family. The family's private investigator is targeting a 2017 investigation discovery episode. At the time, it focuses on Salgado's disappearance. There's mention of young men showing romantic interest in her. There were definitely a few guys that tried to talk to her as much as they could. She's a very humble individual. She just felt flattered that these uh, quote-unquote American boys wanted to talk to her. Well, that means that uh, they wanted to date her, they wanted to socialize with her. And, you know, who knows, maybe somebody uh, didn't take her rejection very well. The private investigator learns students and instructors at the language school she attends are cleared. He's unsure if church friends are. Salgado's only in Provo 18 days before she disappears in broad daylight. Police find no one who saw anything unusual on the busy street where she's known to walk home. The investigator's theory is that Salgado's abductor knew her. That's why he believes church members need questioning. And they may be completely innocent of any wrongdoing, but until they're actually interviewed and offer up their alibis for the time frame that she went missing, we don't know. Jensen finds a penny where Salgado was buried. The Utah Cold Case Coalition plans to test it for DNA. In addition, authorities also wait for DNA results from the gravesite. And the letter is a one-time offer because for the family, it's only a matter of time. Basically, the letter is actually is letting them know or, who, or letting whoever did this that uh, that we are getting very close and, uh, and, and just give up. I mean, you know, just come forward. A confession now by the killer could mean fewer years in prison, whereas later it could be a lifetime. You can read the entire statement by the Utah County Sheriff's Office online at our website, abc4.com. For the Justice Files, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News.